Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Honestly, do You're a Whatever you say. Yeah! Take this! 
<laughs> You're dead, new kid! Dead! Hey, you! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on! Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me... I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man! Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the dorm, just a soda machine. Liquid you sugar is healthy, isn't it? To your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. You're not supposed to be doing that. 
feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Hmm, very good. Carry on. Fascinating, isn't it? I should teach lessons or something. How... Why would Mr. Hattrick call me at work? You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up! Screw you, new kid! This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not- Ow! <laughs> come here, you little- Yeah, come and get me.
job well done. Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why don't you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Oh, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things.
I want to see your long range skill. Jimmy. Just love it Leave when someone... him alone! 
already wet myself once this month. If I do it again, they'll never let me hear the end of it. I can't believe I gotta see up here. comes through again. Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. 
I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. That'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> Come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun? It is. And you should I'm be hungry, grateful Aubrey. you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Careful, idiot! I really love Got bunnies. I hope. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you oh, little oh, scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live scum. on campus. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. Thanks, kid. 